Hello and welcome to the review of Bioshock 2's NECA Big Daddy Bouncer. <clears throat> I do apologize for the poor quality. This is my first review and I don't have any way to really set down the camera. But as you can see, he is the Bouncer model Big Daddy. Very nicely detailed for his size and price. They are... <clears throat> I do have a bit of a cold and I do apologize for that. They are a bit more expensive than they were new. New, they were about 20 25 bucks, and I paid 55 with shipping for him. Lots of really beautiful details. I'm not sure how well you can see it with my lighting. He's got some scrapes there, some detailing there. It's actually sculpted in. The scrapes are a little bit sculpted in there. And if you look on top of that smaller tank, he does have a dent. He does have a pressure gauge. I'm not really going to remove that tank because it is really hard to get back in there. It is a fitted piece. My camera does not want to focus on it, but it is detailed out there. It's not painted. You can see everything sculpted in. Get him standing up a little bit taller here. You can kind of see this cage actually has some, some detailing there. It is kind of bent to one side as it's supposed to be. Eye ports are actually all cracked and beautifully painted. It would be nice to get the one with the LEDs, but unfortunately that one is a lot more expensive than this one. As I said, I paid 50 bucks for this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. He does have these nice armbands. Really nice shoulder joints. You can't really tell there's a joint there. Really nice texturing there. It's actually sculpted in. And the drill itself, if you notice some of the rungs, I guess, are actually dented and bent up and got chunks missing out of them. The drill is flat. Obviously, I mean, on subject delta, it's kind of pointy, not really. Now, the other arm we have is hand. You know, you got more of those buckles here, or rings, if you want to call them. I'm not sure what they're called. Somebody will probably correct me. You can see even on his actual suit, you can see the rivets and whatnot. <clears throat> Some really nice weathering detail. You can kind of see the seam there. It's not really a seam, but on the actual suit in real life, it would be a seam. You can see where the wing nuts are, which are actually beautifully detailed. I can hold it steady enough there. And you've got the plate there. You've got his weights on his hip. The belt actually has some detailing there. You can actually see the holes and whatnot on the back. It's actually riveted in. Even the back of the figure is beautifully painted. Other than the tanks, of course, you got that weathering look. You even have his that little cup link, whatever it is right there. You have more of these metal bands. This knee pad is intact. This one is missing half of it, which is a beautiful detail that they did not have to do. Shows that he's he's been in some scuffs here and there. He's, he's beat up. And you can see his boots. Bump the camera there. Sorry about that. Are even well detailed. You get the weathering effect. You got the weights there that are weathered, of course. Both weights, sets of weights on his hips and his legs are beautifully weathered. Some really nice scrapes and dings and rivet detailing on there. You can kind of see some silvering scrapes and stuff there. Especially on the other side. Those, yep. Those are uh, buckles. Sorry, my bad. Right there on either side of the boots. He's got some scrapes here and there. And yeah, he's a fairly big figure. Um, I don't have any of my NECA figures close. I do have Subject Delta, Subject Omega, and big, two big sisters to review as well as the Brute Splicer, but of the ones I own, I do not own the Rosie yet. I am planning to get that one as soon as I get my job situation figured out. He is one of the bigger pieces in this line. Him, the Motorized Patriot, Brute Splicer, and the Rosie are the big ones. And, you know, when they first came out, they were a very, very, very good buy. You know, for their price, you can even see on the back here. I forgot to mention that. There's actually detailing here. And you can kind of see the seat sleeve being shoved in there. It's kind of... It's not obvious because you can see it from the front. Or you cannot see it from the front. Sorry about that. The fact that the drill is, you know, bulky with the casing. Mine has a loose hip on the right side. It's not too loose, but it does cause some issues standing with posability. He does not have any knees at all. He's got swivels here to move back and forth and swiveling ankle articulation. articulation. Sorry about that. I do not know if he has any ankle pivot and I don't want to force it. I have had NECA figures break on me in the past. My spider splicers are notorious for that. I did buy a lot of them in bulk. But you won't see that unless you're looking at it from the side or the back, which is a detail they did not have to include. All the joints are well hidden, except for these ones here, but there's not really much they could do. Everything else is really well hidden. If you didn't tell anybody this was an action figure or a collector's piece, more of a collector's piece an action figure, they would never notice, and I just realized he's got patches on these shoulders that are actually detailed. 
they're the same color as the sleeve, so they're really easy to miss, but you notice there is little riveting patterns on patterns, patterns. Sorry about that, patterns on there. Even the wheel up here has some detailing, and there's even a scuff right there. Some of the detailing is really beautiful and very well picked out, and some of it is very fine that you have to really pick up and look at it. For instance, like the paint detail on here. It is painted very well in the back as well, which again is something they didn't have to do. And all of it is just beautiful, beautiful detailing, and he's a very sturdy figure. I know some older NECA stuff is incredibly fragile. The big sisters, the spider splicers, and all that. And I apologize for the shakiness of the camera. I know that's not very good quality. This is my first video, like I said, and I'm still getting the camera quality figured out. This is the third take I've had to do with this. But he's a beautifully, beautifully done figure. The one with the lights is same sculpt, just got lights in here, and a battery compartment back here, and a switch back here. His tanks, I believe, are spaced a little bit farther apart so you can get to the switch, but I'm happy with this one for the price. He's the cheapest one I found. I did pay 90 bucks for my Subject Delta, and I will be reviewing him and Subject Omega together as a double review, if you will, because they're pretty much the same sculpt. But all in all, if you can find him for a decent price and not pay up the wazoo for him, I've seen him go for 160, I've seen him go for 100. If you can get him anywhere complete, I know sometimes you'll have these pieces missing or this one cracked off or this little cage around his helmet cracked off or damaged somewhere. I almost bought an Elite Bouncer that was missing his drill and the cage for 30 bucks, which isn't bad, but those parts are really hard to come by. But if you can find even just this Big Daddy alone, it's not a bad deal if you can get him for quite cheap. But all in all, yeah, this is, I guess my YouTube channel is Prussian Knight, and this has been the review of the NECA Bioshock 2 Big Daddy Bouncer. Please comment on what I could do better, and criticism is well accepted I do apologize for the poor quality of this one like I said this is my third take with everything the lighting is very poor in my house I've got the window there to give it a little bit more light as well as the overhead light but yeah thank you for watching